Hey everyone, this is McFluffy2365 here. I just wanted to do some gameplay of Age of Empires 3, Planet of Edition. So yeah, this is just a cinematic right now. That we just covered in the bottom right. That's the acting game. Hope y'all can hear me. I'm not sure what World Ages or Forgotten Empires is. I never heard of that. I'm not sure that's technology. Middleware or the actual game company, or part of the game company, or people who worked on it. This is my first time playing the Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. I played in Age of Empires 1 and 2 and some expansions back in the day, but I never did the third one. This is the first time playing it. Ah, that music is so iconic. So, so iconic. Yeah, so thank you to the developers who made this game, and thank you for making a free to play weekend. I am glad you love it, Ted. Oh, I didn't play the default definitive classic. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Sorry, so this is a, it's a classic. I'm looking at this. I, I'm, I'm more used to this. This is the deep. This is the definitive. It's more HD fine. Yeah, this is a classic for a long time, uh, classic layout for a long time Age of Empires 3 players. I never played the original, so I don't have much experience with this game. And you have the default, which is just the... And for the pretty much are new to the game. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go with... I like the classic, I like the definitive, and I like the default. I'm gonna go default for now. Oh, so that's a different. They kind of okay. They switched that. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna go to default for now. So let's see. Let's go into options here. Let's go into. Hey, let's do an image. Sound sums to half. That's the sound effect. That's just the ambient sound. Let me turn it up to 50%. Maybe you can say at 50%. Okay, that's gonna be at 60% actually. For that. We'll make that 50 actually. The problem with my headset's not working quite as well, so I don't really know. Oh, it's a community event, that's cool. Oh, we just can draw any interesting. All the visibility, okay. Yes, gladly. I'm definitely doing that. Shoot.
in game menus tool tips cancel sound options ui options game options graphics options ui options sound options accessibility hotkeys restore defaults restore the default option settings hot sound options accessibility options use mouse and click or arrow keys and enter to select options menus in game chat in game chat in game apply apply the current option settings wait Have you... okay good now he's gone that's that Oh, wow. What does that look like? It says FPS. You can see time by FPS. That's kind of cool. That makes it easy for you to see and for me to see as well. Let's see, let's go with graphic options. Huh. Oh, it's even a clan list, that's cool. Let's turn the sound down some. There we go. Let's turn it down a little bit more. Let's turn it to 20. Make it 30. Let's go to the graphic options, let's go with... Oh, so the next thing you select is 144 FPS? Wow, okay. Normal... Max... Dynamic, dynamic... It's quite really interesting in a lot of PC games, like older PC titles, where you can actually select like different type of, um... Wait, what? Okay. Find that. Oh, sorry, you guys are probably curious what this means. I kind of know what shadows are. I know what shadows, foliage, and water and textures are, but shaders, I don't really know how they actually work in a lot of in game. So I'm like kind I would have to like Google that stuff or like learn and stuff. So yeah. Um, let's go back. Wait, hold up, what did it say? Oh, here's the tools. So you can like make a you use the tutorial, the scenario editor, editor sna scenario editor, mods and comp uh mods and let me just show you. So the tutorial you get to learn the basics. The scenario there we go, scenario editor is basically what you call a level or a map editor, but it's the same it's the same tools that the game developers use built into the game itself. So like you can make your own map, you can make your own maps and level. You can make your own um, scenarios, your own campaign, basically. Sorry, you can make your own campaigns. Okay, I like to have the corporeum. I'm kind of curious about that. Oh, it gives an entire history of it. Wow. Okay. This is really cool. Let me choose like the different. Okay. Glossy. What is glass? Oh. Okay. <laughs> This is cool. 
Alright, this is really cool. Get the histories of the of different Okay. Nice. This kind is unavailable. Visit the page store to. Nope, not new to that. What about the. Oh, I can't select the scenario though. That's a bummer. I am in like the free to play trial, of course, so. Wait, master the basics? Try a game? Learn new game features in Tycoon? What? I don't know the basics. Off on the right foot. That's interesting. That yeah, this is new, this is new to me. So those three settings are new to me. Your explorer has just set foot on the shores of the new world. During this tutorial, if you're ever confused about what to do next, click on the flashing objectives button. Okay, to this thing up here. Explorer, I think. You must first select him. Left click the explorer to select him now. Abundant. Excellent. Now with the explorer selected, right click on the ground near the Oh, there's the objectives right there. Wow, I like that actually. It gives you like a. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's so cool. Hang on, let's get into these birds here. Where are they? Oh, there they are. I'm like, where do they go? Wow, look at that, people. Look at that. That is really cool. That is really pretty. Oh, look at the look at the character. Look at the portrait. And, wow. Oh, look at the ship. Look at the ship. Look at the marina, Carnival. That is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm just fanboying over here because it's just like I played the first one. I played the second one, the original first Age of Empires and the second Age of Empires. I never played the I played the definitive Age of Empires 2 definitive on if I remember the laptop years back. But I never played the third game myself, so this is my first time actually playing it. Yes. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Your soldiers have disembarked and are ready for your orders. To select all the musketeers at once, drag a box. Yeah, it means around. like left click and drag a box around like this. Perfect. Well, now right click the ground near the flag. Ready, commandment. George Kennedy is my actual. Okay, my, I'm I'm British. The musketeers have joined your explorer, and you are now ready to begin exploring. Select all four units by dragging a box around them. Which I like them. Ready. Now right click the ground near the next flag to Oops. move further inland. Yes. And it's also you guys are wondering is it is the game has an issue? Moving your yes. cursor to the edge of the screen will scroll the view in the main game window. Try this now. Scroll the view to the left until you see the next flag. Excellent. Move your explorer and the musketeers to the next flag. Ready. Yeah, you guys, it's not the game itself, it's my mouse. It's mainly my computer mouse that's doing it. Yes. Of course, there is a beta, so I'm not sure. It, it could be just my mouse, or it could be the game itself. Right. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely my mouse. I wish I was. Volley, dagger. As your units hmm. move deeper into the wilderness, notice that more and more of the landscape is revealed. Huh. Once your units have explored, Sorry. you will always be able to see the terrain, but you will only be able to see enemy troops if you have units near them. The town center is the first building in your colony. Oops, what the? Did it just teleport? When the game begins, you will receive several settlers and crates of resources at your town center. Oh, nice. Oh, it's food. Are used to construct additional buildings and train soldiers. This is my food. This is my resources cap down here. Your settlers will immediately start gathering resources from the crates, but you can redirect them if you like. Try this now. Select a settler. Now right click on one of the flashing trees. 
Oh, that's a conic sound effect. The settler will now gather wood from the tree. Settlers can also gather food from animals and mills and coin from mines. Interesting. You'll need to gather all three resources if your colony is going to survive. That sound and the flashing shipment icon indicate that you may now send a shipment from the home city. Click on the flashing home city button now. During a game of Age of Empires 3, visit the home city now and then to send shipments of resources, settlers, or soldiers. For your first shipment, it's probably best to send additional settlers to help your economy grow faster. Send a shipment now by selecting the settler. Left click the flashing button to return to the new world. Advancing would allow you to construct new buildings and train soldiers. You have been given enough resources to advance. Select the town center. Now click on the gold button. Then select a politician to advance. Why is it not showing me the actual... Wait, what happened? Wait, if you're still in the main menu view, click, left click the home city. Oh, okay, I guess they changed it, I guess. Two settlers get the food. Oh, I see. The naturalist, the bishop. The Philosopher Prince and the Aventor. Uh, yeah, it's probably more important than anything right now. And then I make like changes too. How cool is that? Build a barracks to help defend your colony. Select a settler. Along Click the, the flashing bench, barracks yes. button. Wait, is this right here? <laughs> now place the barracks somewhere near your town center. Wait. You also have multiple citizens queued up to um, help build. See? It would be wise to train some additional soldiers to protect the colony. For the purposes of this tutorial, you have been given some extra resources. Oh, nice. Sweet. Select the barracks. Now click the flashing musketeer button five times. One, two, three. You are now training nice. a small group of musketeers. Continue to gather resources and explore. Let's deal with his mother nature. Yes. That sound means your musketeers are ready, and just in time, too. Spanish cavalry are on the way to raid your colony. Uh oh. To attack the cavalry, select the musketeers, then right click the enemy units. Oh, snap, there they are. Oh, done better than that. There you go, come on, get him. Get him, sweet. You have defeated the enemy cavalry and successfully defended the colony. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs>
You're now ready to go on to the second tutorial called Try Again. Yeah, look at that, people. We did it. Sweet victory. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Thank you, Age of Empires team. Appreciate that. And that story one is a, a oh, it's a fictional campaign story. Or I do a historical battle. That's interesting. Hmm. Nice. I want to do more into the tutorials. I wish I could play the scenario a little bit, kind of so cool to show you guys, but I can't. Welcome to the new world. Your colonists have emerged from the town center and are ready to begin work. During this tutorial, I will offer suggestions now and then, but for the most part, you are on your own. Feel free to explore the game and try different things. During this tutorial, if you're ever confused about what to do next, click on the flashing yes. objectives button. Commandment. You may want to send your explorer out into the wilderness to reveal the map and find more resources. Yes. Ready. Let's see. Not to impose. Consider building a manor to support additional population. You can then train more settlers. to how do I get him to automatically patrol There's a lot in the way you get these guys to patrol. Or, sorry, explore. You, you have found a treasure. If you kill the bear guarding the treasure, you could send your explorer to collect it. Oh, nice. Ready. Yes. Oh, I can build a wall, that's cool. Wished. Let's see if we're gonna build a mana house, I can build a mana house. I'm gonna build a livestock pen, this is cool. That's big this upgrade for these for said um, animal. Oh, I see. So the little mana houses are basically your um. The shipment is ready in the home city. Return to the home city and use your shipments to send additional settlers, soldiers, or resources. Oh yeah, I recognize those gates. Yeah, I recognize the. Uh, 
against themselves. It's been a couple years, but I recognize that. Advance the comments, age, that's easy to do. What do I need for that? Find the wood, okay. We find the food. Now I get a food. That's quite different than what I'm used to. Oh, the whale! The whale with tail! <laughs> Infant? Oh, so you can have to get this guy for like, I guess you could like, get food from him, I guess? The fish I get, but can you actually like... No? And they were slowly fattening up. That's kind of cool. They actually the sheep were fattening up over time. Yes. Ready. Commandment. Foster. Ready. Gather that. Come on, gather that. building a barracks so you can defend your colony. Yes. Good idea. Yeah, in a full game you can pretty much basically get a full experience like the scenario editor and all this stuff. I know the stories are fictional. I forgot about that. But then I think the first like, one had like a more I guess kinda of historical setting I guess to it. I'm not quite sure. It's been a long time since I actually played the Press the second one. Now I'm just trying to play the building right now. Oh, Pose Wagon, what do you do? Oh, so you can build like a little outpost tower. Okay, I see. They're building pretty quickly. Wow, I can't spot that it is building quickly actually.
Oh, that's really cool. Like hand in hand combat. That's pretty cool. This is the treasure. Okay. Concord grapes worth 85 food. That's pretty cool. And he gets collected. Okay, that's cool. Advance to the fortress age. I don't need that. Find the food. I just need food. That's all I need is food. If you're having trouble finding more animals to hunt, consider building a mill. It starts with M, which is... I don't see that actually. Consider training musketeers in your barracks to defend your colony. There's a market. Oh, it's I. Okay, I didn't see it. I didn't recognize the actual, like... Like the, the, the sound effect. Do, 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 do. Yes. Let's see. We need another. Where is it? Uh, no. We need another. I'm not, I'm not used to this. That's a problem. I'm not used to it. You have found a silver mine. If you need coin, you can task your settlers on the mine to gather it. Why do you build so many buildings? Actually, yes. You want. Yes. if you advance to the fortress age, you can build falconets, which are very good at killing enemy infantry. Task settlers on your mill, and they will gather food. Fishing boat. Oh, and coin from whale. That's interesting. I did not know that. Oh, good lord! I remember that. Yeah, back in like when the like my first time playing the uh, Archeodrona was basically playing the. Uh, I was playing the uh, Empire Earth, which I have a physical copy of. I have the original game, actually. Like, I have the actual game itself, I just haven't played it in years. Getting more than I am food of anything else. Come on, 
I don't know how that actually exactly works, but I guess somehow it does. It's working. I'm getting going for it. I don't know how, but I am. Oh, I mean, that sound effect. Resources, quite a bit short. Huh. She's taking up so much food now, we're incoming already now instead. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Wait, are they using. What are they using? I don't know if they're using like little saws or something, like they're doing something with the meat. I'm not quite sure what exactly. Oh, that's quite cool. Like the little berry bushes, that's quite cool. A little bit more coin. I found the enemies. Yes. Yeah, I'm say. means you have discovered a trade route. If you build trading posts at the trading post sites along the route, right you will one. earn extra experience. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't do any upgrades and oops. Yep, I wouldn't do any upgrades too. Back to playing some of the older games. Get him! Yeah, the game looks really good. The game's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Trading post site near the village, you will ally with the Iroquois. Oh, that's cool. Treasure Guardian. You may want to consider visiting your home city and sending a shipment of resources or settlers. Uh, let's see what I need. Him to slowly just get his health back up. There he goes. 
If you advance to the industrial age, you could build... You have trained your first falconet. Falconets are extensive and vulnerable to enemy cavalry. Consider Ready. protecting them with infantry. And my little hero got this. Lord Vat. Oh, yeah, Lord Vat got this, so. In you go. Nice. 